Hello everyone. So this is the same lab what we done before. Now we are going to check some more detail about the trunk. So what I will do, I will write show interface trunk. With this command, we can get the trunk information. Currently, I have these two interface E0 by 0, E0 by 1. This port are trunk. And by using the encapsulation 802.1Q. Okay, we are using this encapsulation. And allowed uh, VLAN, you can see here whatever the VLAN is allowed here. It allow VLAN 1, 10, 20. This three VLAN allow in this one. Okay. If your manager asks you to remove this VLAN 20, then how you can remove from here? If your manager told you allow only VLAN 1 and 10, don't allow VLAN 20, then how we can do? Let's try that one. Okay. Let's look that one. So first of all, I will go in the global configuration mode. After that, I will go under that interface, which interface your manager asks you to allow or not allow. So example, your manager told you do not allow on this interface E0 by 0. So I will write E0 by 0. Okay, E0 by 0 after that. Or maybe your manager is saying both these two interface, we should not allow the VLAN 20. So for that scenario, we will write interface range. Okay, we can write interface range and I will select the interface E0 by 0 dash 1. I selected multiple interface. After that, I will write switch port trunk. Okay, and press question mark here. Your manager, what your manager told? Allow or not allow? You can see here this one VLAN 20. Your manager told do not allow. So how you can remove that one? You can see here, you have here like uh, switch port trunk. After that, we need to look here. You have the allowed and press question mark. You have which VLAN you want to allow. You can do that one. But now we don't want to allow. We need to remove. We have already here. We need to remove that one. So we need to look switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q. We are using this one. We already know this. And also, if you see here, switch port uh, encapsulation, if you press question mark here, you have the ISL, which one you want to use. But if you see here, switch port trunk and you press question mark, you have here what you want to allow, what you want to stop. If you want to remove, you can remove also. Example, if you want to remove. Now, in this lab, we need to remove only. You can see here, this VLAN 20 is allow already. We need to remove this one. So which command we will use? You need to figure out like this. What you will do when you write here, switch port, you will press question mark. You will see here what commands you have here. You have trunk, you have others like mode. You can write switch port, mode, trunk. This is also one command. Okay. So you can see here and press question mark. Take the help of this one and try to figure out which command we will use to remove the VLAN 20 here. Wait for a few minutes. If you know, just confirm. If you don't know, I will show you. Okay. So anyhow, let me show you that one. If you already know, you can write in the comments. If you don't know, I will show you here. Okay. So first thing what you need to remember, we go inside this port, both this port. After that, we are writing here, switch port, trunk, allowed, VLAN, and then press question mark here. You can see here, when you write the allowed VLAN, you have option, allow all VLAN, you can say which VLAN, if you want to add, you can write add and give the new VLAN. If you want to remove, you can write remove and give the VLAN, which VLAN you want to remove. Uh, okay, let's see here which VLAN we want to remove. I want to remove the VLAN 20. And if you want to check, you can write do show interface trunk. See here, I remove the VLAN 20 here. Before you have VLAN 20 here. And here also you can see VLAN 1 to 19 you have, but you don't have 20, you have 21 and 4094. If you are confused, let me explain again. Let me, what I will do, let me reload this switch and do the configuration from the starting. I don't want to save any configuration. I will reload this switch. I will show you again what I want to show you here. If you are confused, let me repeat again. What I am saying, this is one switch, okay? This is one switch. In this switch, you have some VLAN. If you see what VLAN we have, we have VLAN 10 and 20. You can see we have VLAN 10 and we have VLAN 20. 
your manager told we don't need this vlan to send this both interface here we are not using this vlan we don't want to send unnecessary traffic here so we need to reduce the traffic so your manager is saying this side this is a switch one switch two is not using the vlan 20 don't send the vlan 20 traffic this side so you need to remove the, from these two interface you need to remove so these two interface should not carry the vlan 20 traffic this one is already trunk if you want i will show you show interface trunk when you write here show interface trunk you can see these are the two ports which one we are seeing e0 by 1 e0 by 0 it is going to carry all the vlan traffic from 1 to 4094 currently we have the vlan 1 we have vlan 10 we have vlan 20 so this two port is going to carry this two three vlan traffic vlan 1 10 20 vlan 1 10 20 now your manager told vlan 20 traffic should not go to these two interface so what we will do first thing we will go under that interface interface e0 by 0 dash 1 after that we will write switch port trunk allowed vlan and after that you what you want to do here you can press question mark you want to remove you want to add what you need to do here so if you see we have remove here so i will keep remove after that you need to give the number which one you want to remove you have vlan 1 10 20 so your manager told 20 so put 20 it will remove after that if you want to check just come out and write here show interface trunk and check here now what you have here if you see this two interface is carrying the traffic of vlan 1 till 19 you don't have 20 here you have from 21 to 4094 4094 and if you see here also what you have e0 by 0 e0 by 1 these two interface is carrying the traffic of vlan 1 and 10 because currently we have three vlan in this switch we have the three vlan vlan 1 10 20 currently we have three vlan in this switch but as per your manager request you remove the vlan 20 so these two ports should not carry the vlan 20 and we remove that one okay or any confusion simple just you need to put this first you need to select the multiple interface whatever interface your manager is saying if your manager is saying this two interface you need to use this two if he is saying only one interface you need to select that one interface after that this command you need to write switch port trunk allowed vlan and what you need to do you need to remove you need to add or what you need to do you need to write that one here you can see you have this option okay you have here all means all the vlan will be allowed if you want to add additional vlan you can add if you want to remove you can write remove so it will remove now example your manager after some days he asks you can you add the vlan 20 again back to this port then how you will do same thing you will go here in the global configuration mode you will write interface range whatever the interface e0 by 0 dash 1 and after that you will write switch port trunk okay switch port trunk and after that allowed vlan what you need to do here you need to add here you need to add so we will write add and which vlan you want to add you need to add a vlan 20 so just you write vlan 20 that's all then you can check right here show vlan show interface trunk and verify you can see i added here before you don't have the vlan 20 now i added so in this video what we learn we learn how we can add the vlan how we can remove the vlan in the trunk how we can add the vlan how we can remove the vlan in the trunk we learn in this class okay uh, if you have any doubt no problem you can write in the comments like our facebook page and our telegram channel join our telegram channel we are sharing important resources there okay thank you 